I mean, I don't know the last person from Heights that made it to NFL and came back. You know, and I think I'm the first one. I'm not even from here, like you said. Um, but this is my alma mater. And um, I have feel a responsibility to come back and give back. You know, I just had to get my life together before I can give back to somebody else. Um, and in that process, it's just, you know, this is the turnout, man. We get 150 kids. We get coaches from different areas around the Midwest. And they, we just all come in here for one goal, just to get these kids better, to get them motivated, to want to come out here, back to the heights, in their communities, wherever they're at, and just continue to grind, continue to put that work in, and just know that the outcome can obviously be the NFL, or it can be something greater than that. This is huge, man, and I appreciate the Sneed so much for doing this, man. This is so huge to bring some positivity here. How I looked at it is, this is a great day in Muskegon Hikes, man. We, uh, you see, you come out here, have a good time, no violence, and just having a great time. A lot of kids enjoying themselves back on Phillips Field in the hikes, where it all started for most of these kids. So it's good to see kids around here having fun, the community out watching, so it's a great event for us, great day. So it, is, it is amazing. Um, first class individuals, um, and just to go to show you that their heart is still with this community, even though they've moved on to other things and, and really playing in the pros and that kind of thing, it's just wonderful. I think it's a great vision for the younger kids. You can see a lot of community members out. You can see a lot of the former players came back to be a part of the event. And that's more or less what it turned out to be, a community event. We got kids from Muskegon, Northern Shores, um, North Muskegon, Orchard View, all the county schools came out along with the kids from Muskegon Hikes and it's just been a beautiful day.